Yeah. Yeah. Well. All right, uh, before we start, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Rechak Wadash, the honors to the apostles, the great millstone, uh, peace, blessings, and saturations, all the Gakim, Wak, Wakim, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. There's going to be another uh, video through the Spirit, Lord willing. Uh, I, was, I was doing some thinking on it, you know, since yesterday. Let me switch over to uh, screen share. You know, as the title says, what benefit do you humans get for betraying your people? And then we got two prime monkeys right now, all right, uh, antagonizing the Israelites, in which they're not the only ones, and they're not going to be the last ones. But right now, they're just, the, uh, like the apostles say, the flavor of the month or the flavor of the week. You know, they're the ones that uh, decided to get their ass in the spotlight. And, you know, my question to you people, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, not even just dealing with Israelites. What benefit do you get for selling out to Esau, uh, so-called white man? What benefit do you get for abandoning your people, saying "f this"? I want to go be like I want to be like the oppressor. Are you are y'all actually that wicked? Y'all are that soulless and heartless. Here it is, you know. Don't hey okay. So, uh, com compared to worldly standards, some of the things we say and do might be rough around the edges or so-called extreme. But when you look at our overall message, and this just ain't no movement, this ain't no message, this is actually the truth of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. But when you when you actually analyze the words that come out of our mouth, what we actually push and portray, overall, the Israelites, they're not out here pushing violence. We're out here trying to straighten our people up, get them in line, and get ourselves out of this broken ass condition in which we're not gonna get ourselves out of it. Our savior is, but even across the different camps, all right, even across a lot of these camps that teach bullshit. Overall, they're trying to get our people back together. So how can you have a problem with that, Alvin Johnson? We're trying to get our people to put the drugs down, pull their pants up, all right, to uh, get out the streets, all right, to get them some sense about themselves, develop some spirituality about themselves. And the same thing to this nigga, this new nigga, William Jones. Oh, just the old... Man, you scoffers need to get into some shape, man. If you're going to scoff, you need to make sure... You in the gym because you're going to die of diabetes with your fucking bill. you just sitting up eating and talking shit all day. All right. What benefit do you get for uh, trying to disprove your own culture, for coming up against your own people? You think the white man going to give you a cookie when the society collapses? All right. No. And I got a scripture uh, before I switch it back. Damn monkeys. All right. And th this is uh, a proof of the, the end. All right. Because, hey, it don't matter, you Israelites that sold out, those that are attacking this truth, and even Israelites in the world, it don't matter if you got a sports car, if you got a house, some hoes, some shoes. Ultimately, all that is going to mean nothing, and you're going to wish that you chose to side with Yahweh Bashem Shai rather than the enemy, all right? Even against, whatever, man. Hey, so, uh, 2 Maccabees chapter 5, verse 6, it says, But Jason slew his own citizens without mercy, not considering that to get the day of them of his own nation would be a most unhappy day for him, but thinking they had been his enemies and not his countrymen whom he conquered. So you had Jason, who was a known traitor to the Israelites, his uh, brother, if I remember correctly, was uh, Onias. Uh, either, was it, was it Onias or yeah. Simon? It was Onias Khan. I believe so, Onias. Uh, and he, he chose to fall away from Israelite customs to, and to go to the Greeks, the Edomite Greeks. And to live like a heathen and to introduce our people into heathenistic customs, even to the point so far to where he was killing his own people that didn't want to get down with it. Verse 7, how be it for all this he obtained not the principality, but at the last received shame for the reward of his treason and fled again into the country of the Ammonites. So at the end, he didn't, he didn't get to float away in La La Land. He got punished for it. That's not... Hey, that's something even people in the world that don't know about this truth. Uh, the average Jake can't get down with a coon nigga, a sellout, a, a, a tap dancing ass nigga, Uncle Tom. Jake could call you that in the world. Oh, you an Uncle Tom ass nigga. That's something that's just social, socially, that is, was, what's the fucking word, man? Socially unacceptable, even to a low life uh, Israelite. Even a, a regular dumb Negro, Latino, or Native American can understand that being a sellout is one of the worst things you could fucking be. So why would you do it? 
All right, you, you got it. Oh, I just want to say, I, I didn't. I hope I didn't misspeak. Oh, nice was the good guy. Yeah, oh, nice yeah. was the high priest. Kind, that's right. Uh, the righteous high priest, because you have wicked niggas yeah. trying to take a seat. Um, this is Proverbs, um, chapter eleven, and verse twenty-one, and it reads: Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So, hey. You Israelites, you sellouts, you coons that want to join hand in hand with the, with your oppressor Esau. Hey, he's the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, is still gonna punish these devils. Because that's all it's about. You fear the red Hebrew Edomite, all right? You you love your master on top of you might be a tear. Y'all might be tears, <laughs> all right. Yeah, here, I'll switch it back over because huh. I want their faces to be up. So I can, can uh, see who we are uh, talking about. Because that's that's just a goddamn shame, man. Only our people. Like, uh, and the brother made a, uh, made a quote, and I'm going to keep using it because I remember uh, we had watched a clip dealing with LeBron James when he was sitting in that barbershop talking that barbershop <laughs> shit, <laughs> saying, uh, oh, I had to learn to trust white people. I remember the brother had exploded. He said, well, when are white people going to learn to trust you? That's right. Here it is, you yeah. silly, you silly bums, you dumb bumpkins are are going against your own people. Do you think you saw the so-called white man cares? Do you think you're gonna when he when he wants to implement his new world order, do you think he's gonna let you niggas on a jumbo jet or let you niggas in the underground dungeon to try to protect themselves from the missiles? No, y'all niggas is can fought. They're gonna say here, stand here, nigga, and be meat shields. <laughs> yeah. They don't care about y'all. You have you get no benefit. From doing this, leaving when the Israelites are canned, I smash. Shut up, man. You got it up. Yeah. Um, this is uh the book of Isaiah. This I call this the Kum scripture. Uh the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, 13 and verse 14. I'll start at verse 14. And it shall be as the chase roll and as a sheep that no man taketh up. All right. They shall every man turn to his own people. And flee everyone to his own land. And that sheep that uh, Chase Rose talking about Esau and all these other nations gonna go flee. It says they're gonna flee into his own land. So you coons gonna try and come back to uh with all hell break loose, come back to us. But this is verse 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, yeah. and everyone oh. that, that is joined onto them. She'll fall by the sword. I, I got another one. Kinda. Another uh, uh, old girl cherry love. Let me get that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so y'all can, uh, can be found, man. When that day come in, look, y'all can be found with Esau, but y'all going to get thrust. Y'all going to get killed. And this is the Heavenly Father, you have my shame out of words, man. It ain't ours. We're just a vessel to bring this truth out. Man. Oh, the one dudes. Uh, what do they call themselves? The G Gang. What do they call themselves? Uh, G Man and uh, all of them and their, their conglomerate when they was coming up. Oh, I forgot. And that's how important <laughs> they are. I forgot about them. Because since we on the subject, let's get some more famous ones. Where G Man at? Just a stank old stank. <laughs> stank old stank. <laughs> I know it does smell like man. cherries. <laughs> Telling the world about Jesus. Just suck niggas, man. Ugh, man. Ugh, bro. It's a lot. You know, I'm I'm hyped because this is some bullshit, man. I'm a, I'm gonna use some curse words and I'm gonna shout because this is some serious actual bullshit. This is a serious problem within our nation. And I was just double checking. Uh, uh Jason is the brother uh, of Onias. Uh, Simon. Was uh, it was the governor? He was a wicked nigga too, trying to come up yeah, against Jason. the throne, brother. Right. And Simon was the actual blood brother of uh, Onias. And let me finish this. Uh, let me finish this real quick. Second Maccabees, but it, hey, it tells you what well, Second Maccabees verse chapter five verse seven. It says at the end and fled again into the country of the Ammonites. So after all that, he had to get up out the country. He had to flee. He didn't, verse eight. In the end, therefore, he had an unhappy return. Being accused before uh, Eretus, the king of the Arabians, fleeing from city to city. So he was living a vagabond life. He had to go on the run eventually. Pursuit of all men, hated as a forsaker of the laws, and being had an abomination as an open enemy of his country. And countrymen, uh, he was cast into Egypt. So people didn't, hey, and you know what? 
I can't wait to see the day. Everyone that should be found should be thrust through. They're not going to trust you. You don't. You saw the so-called wife. They like, look, these monkeys, they 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 don't even want to stick with their own and come up against us. They willing to sell out. So they would be willing to be a triple agent. So we got to dispose of them. That's got to we got to tie up loose ends. And you niggas, man, what so-called white man don't care about you, G man. You think he gonna let you make it? You a nigga in their eyes, just like just like we niggas in their eyes. They'll kill you too. You think they'll let you marry their daughters or whatnot? Just cause your face is shady and you sound like a like a little pussy nigga? No. A, a, a tr once a traitor is always a traitor. So they're not gonna trust you either way. you you aren't willing to stand with your own. So they sure as hell they'll use you for a little bit. Let you get your 12,000 subscribers to come up and talk shit and scoff so they can uh, have doubt amongst Israel. But after you're no longer needed, you'll be discarded too. Let's go back to old girl uh, Cherry Disgust. Sister Cherry. Stank it. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, it's just stanky. Ugh. Let me finish this off, man. Verse 9, it said, uh, 2 Maccabees 5 and 9. Does he that had driven many out of their country perish in a strange land? Retiring to the Lacedaemonians and thinking there to find succor by reason of his kindred. So he went to uh, the what we call as today the Spartans because the Spartans are Israelites. That's why it says he thought he would find succor uh, by reason of his kindred because the Lacedaemonians were Israelites. But they were under that Greekish fashion, living in a Greekish way, calling themselves uh, uh, Spartans, in other words. So he thought, oh, OK, they they accept me. We they we brothers. Verse 10. And he that had cast out many unburied had done to mourn for him, nor any solemn funerals at all, nor sepulture with his father. So when they buried that nigga, man, when he died, he just got tossed in the dirt somewhere. He didn't even have a funeral. That's what, and the same thing is going to happen to you. What you going to say? Now I, I spoke out loud saying he didn't even get buried with his father. Yep. He got <laughs> buried in a foreign land by people. There's this one song. Has, oh, uh, uh. He died in a place where nobody knew his name. And that's what's going to happen to you selves, man. That's what, it, that's what has to happen to you. You will be punished. You will not be rewarded for being a, a, a treacherous a monster. You got it, right? Um, kind. This is uh, another oldie but goodie. Oh, man. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and verse 31. And it reads, Envy thou not the oppressor. Oh, yeah. And choose none of his ways, man. Yeah. You niggas, y'all envy Esau. Oh, quote that again, Slaga. Khan, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and yeah, verse 30, I just needed a, I didn't go 31. All right, I'm going to read it again. Okay, envy me. thou not the oppressor, yeah. and choose none of his ways. All right? Verse 32, for the forward is abomination to the Lord, Yahweh, but his secret is with the righteous. All right? Yeah. So, yeah, that, hey. You that's why you niggas lost, all right. Y'all don't got the secrets and the wisdom and knowledge of these books, all right, because y'all sniffing up the red Esau. Hebrew Edomites, <laughs> Esau's ass, all right, and these other heathen nations, all right. That's why the Heavenly Father and Yahweh ain't dealing with y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna just cite, I'm gonna just cite through the images. I'm trying to think of more. Uh, that's all these are the ones I can it's mainly. Oh, the Bible right destruction. Nah, that is, I forgot the name of it. Crew G Man, I was just trying. Oh, okay, yeah, G Man, and then phone name. He's fucking nigga. What didn't you retire off YouTube? <laughs> you wasn't missing you, <laughs> double minded. Yeah, you don't know that scripture, nigga. <laughs> you double minded ass nigga. God, this is our Sirach 9 and 11. It's oh, oh, bro, that's the spirit. Go ahead and get it then. Go ahead and get it then. <laughs> this is Sirach 9 and 11. Envy not the glory of a sinner. Yeah. For thou knowest not what shall be his end. Huh. Delight not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in. Yeah. You, these heathens, because they ungodly, but remember, they shall not go unpunished onto that grave. So, yeah, you niggas, y'all, look, y'all want to hang with Esau and be like Esau, y'all going to get the same punishment huh. as these heathens and Esau. Huh. You got it, all right? No, hey, all right. The uh, hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not. Uh, go unpunished. Since, right. hey, since y'all wanna, what's well, y'all got the mindset? Oh, well, we can't beat them. Join them. Let's be good niggas. Okay, go join up with them. It'll, hey, it'll just make uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai's the elect in Yahweh. Well, it'll make Yahweh Shai's job easier. 
Stand all y'all just stand in a group so y'all can just all get killed in one wave. So you can all fall down. Don't separate, don't run, don't hide. Stand there with your stand there with Esau, the so-called white man, your God, who you worship. All right. Because that's what you're doing, whether you realize it or not, to come up against your own heritage, who you <laughs> actually are. All right, you simple nigga. You can't be an Israelite and a Canaanite at the same fucking time. To come up against your own bloodline, you're you're worshiping uh heathens. You're setting you spiritually are setting over a king over you that is not of your brethren, and that's against the law. And I don't even, I don't have to get it, but that's that's in the law. Y'all, you want a king over you that is in chores. How is it that every other nationality on, on earth, and not saying that it's uh, correct, but everybody else, their God looks like them. Gook's got them, uh, 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 Hindu and Buddhism yeah. and Confucianism, all right? They have their, uh, who they worship, all their shit looks like them and talks like them and, lives their way. You have the Arabs, they got uh, a fake ass Mohammed, all that uh, worthlessness. You got, uh, hell, even the, the Japhites, the Polynesians, Pacific Islanders, you know, uh, all them folk, they have their worthless uh, island gods and whatnot, big old Samoans and whatnot. Yeah, but speaking of big old Samoans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to you niggas, you want, you want to love the so-called white man. So, so real. That nigga, I, who was that fucker? Oh, let me type in that fucker. I know he's another one. So, so real. Ah. Hey, y'all gonna learn the hard way. You got another one up? Uh, kind. Uh, so, so. Right. Uh, this is the book of uh, St. Luke, chapter 19, and verse 27. But those, this my one. enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking, bring hither. And slay them before me, man. A lot of you, Jake's gonna be mad when he get when Jehovah Shai come back and he get him uh, his elect man of spiritual power. A lot of you niggas gonna be getting slain yeah. before Jehovah Shai yeah. by his men. And uh, Lord yeah. willing, we're we're part of that number. All right. Oh, this nigga don't even got the balls to show his face. Where your face at? Y'all don't even want to. Y'all don't want to. Uh, Yo, man, if y'all don't want Jehovah Shai over y'all, man, that's why y'all gotta be destroyed. Even though he died for y'all. That's another one, so so real. He not showing his face, but he be of uh, course he, a coward. Uh, Don't show their face. He scoffs against the truth, man. Y'all, you Israelites, you the wicked ones are you. Y'all are the ones back in the slave days. Y'all are the ones uh, talking about. If you ever watched the movie Django, when you had Samuel L. Jackson uh, playing as a uh, Uncle Tom, these was the niggas talking about when they saw. Jamie Foxx come right in. Who that nigga on that mat? That's you monkeys. <laughs> you were the Israelites in the past snitching on your own people when a uh, when an overrise, I mean not when a uprise was being planned. When a revolt was being planned. You was a cherry love, your ass was blowing Master Rod. No, nah, he ain't let you do that. Your ass was uh <laughs> came Mammy in out the kitchen running with biscuits falling out your <laughs> car. Massa, massa, massa. Leave niggas talking about killing. <laughs> This is you people, man. This is you people. This is you Israelites. Yeah. The slayer of the prophet, uh, prophets. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, uh, thou that killed the prophets. This is you bastards. Because if you had it your way, you'd kill us. So you can continue living yeah. your unbothered life in America. You nigg you the niggas who, who stoned Stephen. Yeah. Because y'all was getting cut like y'all getting cut today. Kind of. In these last days. The same way, uh, that's like, let me, uh. Can you get, you know what I said? Uh, it's either, I think it's Joshua, me in my house, or the uh, serve the Lord. It's either De Deuteronomy or it's Joshua. I believe it's Joshua 24 and 10. Okay, let me see. Because, uh, hey, hey the, the line is going to be drawn in the sand. So it's, it's going to be seen who's going to win. Y'all pick Esau, the so called white man. Lord willing, we're going to pick you. How about Shim Yahweh Shai? We're going to see when them two uh, swords clash, who's going to be left standing. All right, let me check this uh, Psalms. Uh, Con, yeah, perfect. Let me get this real quick. And actually, let me get the word of uh, the first word for it. But this is Psalms chapter 37, verse 1. It says, Fret not thyself uh, because of evildoers, neither be thou envious ah. against the workers of iniqu iniquity. So we're going to look up, look up that word fret real quick. So you can get it. It's a lot. So we can get the uh, meaning of it just real quick. It helps you get a better understanding. Fret. Uh, to be hot. 
to be furious, to burn, become angry, to kindle, to be angry, to heat oneself in vexation. All right, so reading again, it says, fret not thyself, or right? don't uh, anger thyself, don't be hot because of uh, because of the evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers uh, uh, of iniquity. So it's basically telling you, look, and you, and you know, this is really to us because we, you, y'all love these so so called white man. You you love the y'all you love his dirty draw. Yeah. You love his, <laughs> that that's and you know I'm 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 on uh I'm with the elder uh, Yashua now. I'm starting to really find the way that Edomites look detestable, like to the point where. You know, even my women don't look that good to me no more. And I and I, don't get me wrong, there's some beautiful <laughs> uh there are crackers out there, and I know they're gonna stop that. All right, I'm a man if a, if a beautiful woman stepped to me, she get dealt with it. But it's to the point where I I, I literally the sight when he if he saw get too close to me, I just automatically get uncomfortable. I don't even want them. Even if they holding the door for me, I just I can't got, stand you, the side you, up. You eat them, I look like I got I got on my day lid glasses and I see <laughs> what you motherfuckers. Yeah, look like yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, that's what it is. I look gross. Yep, we see you for the we see them for the spirit, and they have an evil spirit. All right, right. so it's telling us, hey, hey, don't be envious against them. Why? Because of verse two, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Con, trust in the Lord and do good. So. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Hey, we're trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, so we're going to dwell in his salvation under his wing and under his protection, Lord willing, when he returns. All right, when Yahweh Shai returns, when the destruction comes upon this world. But since you niggas trust in the devil, you're going to be out here open. It's 12 at night. Dogs is out in the street. Killers is out in the street. And y'all outside with no light and no protection. We in the house cozy. Y'all are going to get obliterated. Come. You got it, huh? Uh, this is the book of Joshua, chapter 24, uh, and I'm starting at verse 14. Now, therefore, fear the Lord Yahweh and serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt and serve ye the Lord Yahweh. Verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord Yahweh, choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my household, Salakia, my house, we will serve the Lord Yahweh. John, hey, and it's, it's evident. The lion is in the sand. You bastards are picking the wrong side of the fence. So when the judgment comes, stand there and deal with it. All right. Since you want to side with the devil, with the person that puts you in slavery, who's been uh, deliber deliberately destroying uh, the food that we eat, so it destroys us, poisoning everything around us, putting us in a horrible uh, living and financial situations, no matter where we are, all right, destroying our, the minds of our children. Go ahead and trust in them. Go ahead and trust in all those lies that you understand as a reality. And when, when the logic breaker comes, that's what I'm going to Hey, because you people are, are are thinking in the wrong in the reality of Esau, the so-called white man. When the logic breaker, all right, when the when the destroyer comes back, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, he's gonna come and destroy everything you fucking people thought was real. Every fabric of your fucking life is going to be shredded and cast at the feet of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach when he returns. That's right. And Lord willing, we gonna be standing behind him. Ready to go to battle while you bastards in front of them finna get cut the hell down. You got anything else, huh? Con, uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 30. And this is for you, Uncle Tom, sell out ass niggas. And when thou art spoiled, what will thou do? Perfect. Though thou clothest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, you can break it down to you. Though thou rentest thy face with painting. So this is talking about, this is a parable to the Israelite people. It's, it's giving the, an analogy of a woman getting all dressed up and kind of dolled up and whatnot, comparing it to the nation of Israel. So keep going. In vain shall thou make thyself fair, thy lovers will despise thee. Yep, so it's comparing the nation of our people to a, a woman that's uh, a cheating whore. She's getting all dressed up and make it up to go Step out with five other men outside of her husband, 
and they all gonna turn on her. And that's what's gonna happen to you Israelites. You think these Arabs care about you? I've had Negroes argue me down because we live here in Michigan in uh, in, in uh, the Detroit metro area. You have a city known as Dearborn, which is uh, the heaviest concentration of Arabs in the United States. Uh, remember correctly? It is. You're you right. got you have Negroes that will, they not all bad. You got the Yemenis. They, I remember a, a, a nigga at work was actually literally getting like like wanted to try to man you. <laughs> You think the Arabs arguing for the count of you niggas? They not all bad. They not all smoking black and white, mild, sagging. They don't give a fuck about you, and you gonna find out. All you cherry yeah. love, you gonna find out. So so retarded, you gonna find out. Uh, gay man, you gonna find out. Government man, whatever the fuck the G stand for. William bitch, you gonna find out. And Alan faggot, you gonna find out. All of you, and I'm gonna keep insulting you. All right. You all, you're all gonna find out. Just like the ones of old, Martin Luther King found out being a coon didn't get him nowhere other than his head opened up. All right, Jesse Jackson gonna find out too. I'm surprised that nigga's still alive. But all the rest of you, all you gonna find out. Keep going, on. Thy lovers will despise thee. Yep. They will seek thy life. Mm, straight to it. <clears throat> you got it. For I have heard a voice as of a woman in travail. And the anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion, talking about you niggas, because yeah. it's that's us. Uh, when you see daughter, that's singular for the that mean that's all encompassing of the nation of Israel. If it yeah. said daughters with an S plural, that would be talking about the women of the nation of Israel, right? Yeah. That be well, we will be well of herself. <clears throat> so like it that spread of her hands, saying. Woe is me now, for my soul is weary yep. because of murderers. And that's what's going to happen to you. Yep. These people that you're selling out for are going to seek your fucking life and strip it from you. <laughs> All the amenities that they've given you, your weak-ass fucking car, like Elder Yashawama says, Jake, think we're going to be just driving Nissans for fucking ever. Think we're going to be rolling in Nissan Ultimas for the next 3,000, however this bitch, however long you people think America's going to roll on for. You know, it's going to be real beautiful when the Lord do his thing, man. <laughs> it's going to be, man, I, Lord, when I get to see and look at, I told you so, nigga. To all, even to you heathens, it's going to be beautiful, yeah. man. Y'all going to learn the hard way. Nigga, you won't, you not even worth a bullet. Yeah. They not even <laughs> worth You just need to get choked. <laughs> One of the, these songs is going to boot your door in and bang that you. <laughs> <laughs> And keep it pushing, yo. You're not like you're gonna get up and run, yo, man. <laughs> and you know, we're gonna, we're gonna end. <laughs> well, I turn this into a roasting session. All right, you, uh, betrayer, the you betrayers, hey, there's plenty of examples in the scriptures of Israelites, of the wicked Israelites that come up against the righteous, that come up against their own people, and it doesn't go well for them. Things haven't changed, and they're not going to change. All right, so without me give all praises or slot, we are going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhakodash, the waters of the apostles, there's a millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the doctrine, walk, walk, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. We're going to say Shalom. Shalom.